English for Arabs is English for all. Presentation Plus is available exclusively with the new fourth edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. Highlight key concepts. Reveal answers to exercises. Annotate passages. Play class audio passages and video segments. And even embed web links right into your lessons. You can learn English as a second language. Unit 5. What are you doing? 1. What are you doing? Time zones. City. Cities. Same. Words of exercise number two. Australia. A conference. A meeting for work. A meeting for work. Sydney. AM. PM. Really? Sorry. That's okay. Awake. Not sleeping. What time is it there? What time is it there? Three. What time is it? What time is it? Two. After. Past. British past. American past. Past. A quarter, British, American, a quarter, a quarter, half, American, British, British, half, half, American, half, noon, it's 12 p.m., midnight, it's 12 a.m., four, Words of exercise number four. Call, call, call. Different, various. Parts, Vancouver. Bangkok, Bangkok. G silent, Bangkok. Tokyo, Tokyo. Sao Paulo, Sao Paulo. Five. Word of exercise number five. Hungry. Hungry. Won't eat. American. Hungry. Cook. Cooked. Cooked. Now. What are you making? What are you making? What are you doing? Let's see. Let's eat. Intonation. Intonation. Rising. Falling. Is she getting up? Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? Are they sleeping? Draw an arrow. Unit 5. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Exercise 1. Listen and practice. Listen and repeat. Time zones. Time zones. Difference between countries in time. Example. In Egypt, it's 2 o'clock. In Riyadh, in Saudi Arabia, it's 3 o'clock. Let's start to listen. Listen and repeat. Unit 5. What are you doing? 
Page 30, Exercise 1, Snapshot, Time Zones, Listen and Practice. Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, Casablanca, London, Cape Town, Warsaw, Moscow, Riyadh, Bangkok, Seoul, Tokyo, Sydney. Which cities are in the same time zones? Which cities are in your time zone? I live in Egypt. I live in Egypt. I live in Cairo. Riyadh is in the same time zone. Riyadh, Kuwait, Qatar. The difference is about an hour. Now let's read this. Time zones. Vancouver, Los Angeles, LA, Montreal, New York City, Mexico City, San Juan, Lima, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, Casablanca, London, Moscow, Warsaw, Riyadh, Riyadh, Seoul, Bangkok, Bangkok, G silent, Tokyo, Sydney, Sydney is in Australia, Sydney in Australia. Exercise number two. Look at the picture, what do you see? Two persons, they're talking, they're talking in the phone. The young man is wearing a suit, he's wearing tie, shirt, jacket, he's looking at the watch, watch, British watch, American watch. He's talking to someone. The young lady is sleeping. She's in her bedroom. It's 4 o'clock. It's 4 a.m. It's 4 o'clock at night. This is the moon. Night. It's 4 o'clock at night. The man is surprised. What time is it? He looks at his watch. Conversation. What time is it there? Listen and practice. Page 30, exercise 2. Conversation. What time is it there? Listen and practice. Hello? Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. And it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Debbie and Joan are talking. Debbie and Joan are talking. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney. Conference. What's conference? Conference? A meeting for work. Meeting for work. Meeting American. A meeting for work. 
in Sydney. Where is Sydney? Sydney is in Australia. Remember? Do you remember this? Debbie? This is Debbie. All right. What time is it there? What is the time? It's 10 p.m. In Australia, it's 10 p.m. It's 10 o'clock in the evening and it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles. Los Angeles, LA, right? 4 o'clock, but 4 a.m. or 4 p.m. Is it 4 o'clock a.m. at night or 4 p.m. in the afternoon? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. It's 4 o'clock at night. 4 a.m. Oh, I'm really sorry. Sorry. O-A, American. British, sorry. That's okay. It's okay. No problem. I'm awake. Awake, not sleeping. I'm awake. I'm not sleeping now. It's okay. Answer the questions. Who are talking? Debbie and John are talking. Where is John? John is in Australia. He's in Sydney. What is John doing? He's at a conference. He's at a meeting in Sydney. What time is it there in Sydney? What time is it there in Australia? In Sydney, in Australia. It's 10 o'clock. What time is it there? In Los Angeles, it's 4 o'clock. It's 4 o'clock in the morning. Is Debbie sleeping now? No, she's awake now. Exercise number 8. Grammar folks. What time is it? What time is it? What's the time? Listen. Page 31, exercise 3, grammar focus. What time is it? It's 1 o'clock. It's 1.05. It's 5 after 1. It's 1.15. It's a quarter after 1. It's 1.30. It's 1.40. It's 20 to 2. It's 1.45. It's a quarter to 2. What time is it? It's 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock is 1 exactly. It's 1.05. It's 5 after 1. It's 5 minutes after 1 o'clock. It's one fifteen. One fifteen. It's one o'clock and fifteen minutes. The first hand, the small hand, the hand of the clock, the small one for hours, the second one for minutes. So it's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. Fifteen minutes, quarter. 30 minutes, half. It's 1, 30. 1, 30. Means it's 1 o'clock and 30 minutes. It's a half past 1. It's a half after 1. We have 60 minutes in the hour. If I have 30 minutes, Half. British, half. American, half. If I have 15 minutes, quarter. British, quarter. British, quarter. American, quarter.
It's 1.40. What time is it? It's 1.40. 1 and 40 minutes. Or I can say it's 20 to 2. It's 20 to 2. It's 20 minutes minus 2 o'clock. It's 20 to 2. It's 1.45. It's 1.45. It's a quarter to 2. It's 1.45. It's 1 hour 45 minutes. It's a quarter to 2. It's 15 minutes minus 2 o'clock. It's a quarter to 2. Let's check this PowerPoint presentation. This is Mr. Kyle channel. Kyle Rolfson. This is the favorite channel for English for Arabs. Interchange intro, interchange box 3. Interchange into unit number five. So it's better after you finish our video. It's better after you finish our video in, in on English for Arabs. You can watch Mr. Kyle explaining the grammar. Unit five. Hello again and welcome to the interchange intro video for Unit 5. Today, we are talking about time. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so remember, hours and minutes. The numbers in blue are the hours. So, for example, 12 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. The numbers in red are the minutes. So, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, 30 minutes, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. Okay, let's practice. What time is it? It's 11 o'clock. When there are no minutes, we say o'clock. It's exactly 11. It's 11 o'clock. Only when we have no minutes, we use a clock. What time is it? It's 12.05. When we have zero and a number, we use O. We say it's 12.05. What time is it? It's 1.15. It's 1.15. What time is it? It's 6.20. It's 6.20. What time is it?
It's 10.30. It's 10.30. What time is it? It's 12.45. It's 12.45. What time is it? It's 9.55. It's 9.55. Okay. We have another way to tell time. We can use the minutes first, then after, and the hour is last. So we use after for the purple side of the clock. So this side of the clock. So, for example, let's look at this time. What time is it? Well, we can say it's 12.05, right? Or we can say it's 5 after 12 minutes after hour. It's 5 after 12. Okay. And this time? What time is it now? Well, we can say it's 12.15 or it's 15 after 12. Again, the minutes, 15 after the hour. It's 15 after 12. Very good. Okay. Now, what time is it? Well, it's 12.25 or it's 25 after 12. Again, the minutes after the hour. It's 25 after 12. Very good. Now, for the other side of the clock in green, we do not use after. We use to or till. To or till. And again, we use the minutes to or till and the next hour the next hour so we can see it's 1255 it's 1255 right and the next hour is one o'clock now if we look in five minutes the next hour is one o'clock Right? So those are the minutes. And we say it's 5 to 1. Or it's 5 to 1. Again, the minutes to the next hour. It's 5 to 1. Or it's 5 to 1. Very good. Let's look at the next time. Okay. What time is it? What time is it? Well, in 15 minutes, the next hour is 1 o'clock. In 15 minutes. So, we can say it's 15 to 1 or it's 15 to 1 again to the next hour it's 15 to 1 very good okay the last time what time is it well now it's 20 minutes. If 
5, 10, 15, 20 minutes to the next hour is 1 o'clock. So we can say it's 20 to 1 or it's 20 to 1. Again, the minutes to the next hour. It's 20 to 1. It's 20 to 1. Very good. Okay, this clock has four sections. Four sections. Each section is 15 minutes. So, 15 minutes equals one-fourth of the clock. And one-fourth, we say a quarter. A quarter. A quarter is 15 minutes. A quarter is one-fourth of an hour. Okay, so let's practice. What time is it? We can say it's 1.15 or it's 15 after 1, minutes after the hour. Now remember, 15 minutes is a quarter. So we can say it's 15 after 1 or it's a quarter after one minutes after the hour. So we use a quarter when the minutes are here at 15. We also use this when the minutes are here at 45. So what time is it? We can say it's 1.45 or it's 15 to 2 minutes to the next hour. Remember, this is 15 minutes to the next hour, 2 o'clock. And remember, 15 minutes is a quarter so, we can say it's a quarter to two. So we only use this for when the minutes are at 45 or at 15 minutes. Very good. Okay, so let's practice. For this time, we have three different ways to say the time. So, what time is it? The basic way is to say the hour and the minute. It's 7.15. Or we can talk about the minutes first and say it's 15 after 7. And when we use 15, we can use another word. It's quarter after seven, or it's a quarter after seven. Very good. All right, one more. Again, we have three different ways to say this time. What time is it? Again, the basic time is the hour first, and then the minutes. It's 12.45. It's 12.45. Or we can use the minutes to the next hour. So it's 15 to 1. Or it's 15 to 1. Again, the minutes to the next hour. Or, when we use 15, again, we can use a different word. It's quarter to one. Or it's quarter to one. Very good. 
Okay. You now know how to tell time. Good luck and thanks for watching. What time is it? A. Pair work. Look at these clocks. What time is it? One. What time is it? It's 20 after 2. Or it's 2. 20. Or it's 2. 20. It's 20 after 2. It's 2. 20. It's 20 past 2. It's 20 after 2. Or it's 20 past 2. Or it's 2. 20. Second clock, what time is it? It's 6 50. It's 10 to 7. It's 10 to 7. It's 6 50. 3. What time is it? It's 8 45. 8 45. This is an hour. 30 minutes, 15 minutes, 45 minutes. So what time is it? It's 8.45 minutes. It's 8.45. It's 8.45. It's a quarter. It's a quarter to nine. It's a quarter to nine o'clock. A quarter to nine. What time is it? It's 11.05. It's 11.05. It's 5 after 11. Number 5. What time is it? It's 3.15. 3.15. It's a quarter after 3. It's a quarter Past three. What time is it? It's four thirty. It's four thirty. It's a half past four. It's a half past four. It's a half after four. Is it AM or PM? Let's listen. Is it a.m. in the morning or p.m. in the afternoon, in the evening? Let's listen. Is it a.m. or p.m.? It's 7 o'clock in the morning. It's 7 a.m. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. It's noon. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's 4 p.m. It's 7 o'clock in the evening. It's 7 p.m. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. It's midnight. B. Said here, in the morning, a.m. A.m. in the morning, a.m. from midnight until 11.59 at noon. So in the morning, a.m. 12 o'clock at midnight, a.m. p.m. PM noon twelve o'clock exactly at noon PM afternoon PM in the afternoon PM in the evening PM at night until eleven fifty nine PM per work say 
each time different way. One, it's nine o'clock in the evening. It's nine p.m. In this exercise, you write p.m. or a.m. Two, it's eight o'clock in the morning. Eight a.m. It's twelve o'clock at night. Twelve a.m. It's three in the afternoon. Three p.m. It's three a.m. It's three in the morning. It's three o'clock in the morning. It's six. P.M. It's six o'clock in the evening. It's four p.m. It's four o'clock in the in the afternoon. It's twelve p.m. It's twelve o'clock. It's it it's noon. It's twelve o'clock in the afternoon. It's noon. Exercise number four. Listening. It's four p.m. in Vancouver. Look at the picture. What do you see? Young man, young lady. This is a mobile. They are calling someone. Where are they? They are in the street. They are in the street. This is a skyscraper. Skyscraper, high building. A very high building, skyscraper, trees. This is a backpack. Backpack. Watch. A watch. British watch. American watch. She's smiling. They're very happy. They are very happy. Tracy and Eric are calling friends in different parts of the world. Listen, what time is it in these cities? The city and the time. In this exercise, it's listening exercise. Listening. You listen and write the answer. Page thirty-two, exercise four, listening. It's four p.m. in Vancouver. Tracy and Eric are calling friends in different parts of the world. Listen. What time is it in these cities? What time is it now, Eric? It's four o'clock. Okay. It's four p.m. here in Vancouver, so it's seven a.m. in Bangkok. I'm calling Permsock. No, he's sleeping. Oh, you're right. Well, let's call your friend Ian. What time is it in London? It's one a.m. Oh, that's late. What time is it in Tokyo? Nine a.m. Great. I'm calling Mariko. Wait a minute. She's in Sao Paulo this week. Remember? Oh, right. Well, I have her phone number in Sao Paulo. What time is it there? Um, it's nine in the evening. She's probably watching television. So, are you calling her? Sure. We have to tell someone we're getting married. City and time. City, Vancouver. Time four p.m. Bangkok, G Island. Bangkok, seven a.m. Seven a.m. London, one a.m. London, one a.m. 
Tokyo, 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Sao Paulo, 9 p.m. 9 p.m. Why are they calling? Because they are getting married. They have to tell someone that they are getting married. They are very happy. Exercise number five. Conversation. I'm really hungry. Now look at the picture. What do you see? A boy. A woman. They are in the kitchen. It's two o'clock. It's two o'clock. This is night, so it's two a.m. It's two o'clock in the morning. So it's two a.m. What is the boy doing? He's making pizza. Page thirty-two, exercise five, conversation. I'm really hungry. Listen and practice. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Oh, what kind? Cheese and mushroom. That's my favorite. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Hi, mom. What are you doing? What are you doing, Steve? What's Steve doing? He's cooking. I am cooking. What are you doing? I'm cooking. What are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. It's two a.m. Well, I am really hungry. Hungry? I want to eat. Hungry? I want to eat. What are you making? What are? What are T? Soft D. Between two vowels, water. What are you making? Pizza. So Steve is making pizza. What kind? Cheese and mushroom. He's making cheese and mushroom pizza. That's my favorite. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. So what's Steve doing? He's cooking. What's he cooking? He's cooking pizza. Why? Because he's very hungry. What kind of pizza is he making? Cheese and mushroom pizza. What time is it now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Exercise number six: the pronunciation, rising and falling intonation. Listen and repeat. Listen and repeat the intonation, the sound of the yes, no, and wh question. Is R? Yes, no question. What? Wh question. Page thirty-two, exercise six, pronunciation, rising and falling intonation, part A. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation of the yes/no and wh questions. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Page thirty-two, exercise six, pronunciation, rising and falling intonation, part A. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation of the yes/no and wh questions. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing?
In this exercise, the sound is up, sound is high. If the question starts with is or are, sound is down. If the question starts with what, what, where, when, why, who, how. Number B, listen to the questions. Draw a rising arrow for rising intonation and a falling arrow for falling intonation. In this question, you listen. If it's rising, you make the rising the arrow up. If the sound is down, you will draw the arrow down. Let's listen. Page 32, exercise 6, part B. Listen to the questions. Draw a rising arrow for rising intonation and a falling arrow for falling intonation. 1. Are you wearing a coat? 2. What are you doing now? 3. What time is it? 4. Is it midnight? 5. What color is his t-shirt? 6. Are you from Thailand? Welcome! 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 Share videos. It's a community. We're all doing this together.